Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. During the first week of February 1951, Natchez was isolated and immobilized by a horrific winter storm that brought ice, sleet, and snow to the region. The Dallas Morning News reported that a complete breakdown of normal communications as well as the impassable rural roads made an overall estimate of damages nearly impossible. Natchez was left without telephone and electric services, although gas and water had been maintained and the reliable postal service has been able to deliver the mail. The only outside means of communication, however, had been by shortwave radio. The Dallas paper noted that in the city of Citronelle and Magnolia Blossoms, residents had fallen back on their own ingenuity and those who had old-fashioned kerosene lanterns had become the envy of their neighbors. The paper also observed that while the famed antebellum mansions escaped serious damage, many of the huge trees, including magnolias, where Natchez Bell prayed during the pilgrimage, were in splinters. I'm Caden Gillespie, a sophomore at Adams County Christian School, and this has been your Natchez Historical Minute.